Hello and welcome to Inside F1 from Japan. There's a pretty sombre mood in the Formula One paddock tonight after the news that Maria de Velotta has been found dead. The Spanish driver suffered a serious head injury and lost an eye in a testing incident with the Marussia Formula One team last season. She was in Seville launching her book, Life is a Gift. Well, Gary Anderson joins me now. Gary, a very, very sad story. She had so many friends in the paddock, including the drivers from Fernando Alonso to Susie Wolfe. Yes, yeah, she was. She was really well respected. And, and, you know, she said hello to everybody. I didn't know her very well, but every time you saw her, it was always hello and a smile. So, yeah, it's very sad. I mean, for me, really, the sad day was the accident when she, when she had that accident run into the tail lift of the Mauritia truck. Um, and to survive that was a miracle alone. So we don't know all the circumstances yet, but uh, it is a very sad loss to the paddock. Whoever joins us, Mark, a lot of people getting caught out out there today, even the most experienced of drivers. How difficult is it to make a friend of Suzuka? It's a tough track, Lee. I think uh, we know the rules coming here. It's, you've got to be very precise. The line is uh, very narrow. It's a narrow circuit. It's a quick circuit. Also a little bit bumpy. Some of the curbs are a little bit different. Apex to exit. So it's very, very easy to get yourself in a little bit of hot water quite quickly and uh, yeah and then also some of the runoffs are pretty tight you know yeah. so uh, it's easy to damage the car and re not recover as maybe you would on another circuit. Is it a slippy circuit because there's not an awful lot that happens in between the Formula One is there? Um, I think the grip is okay I mean the the circuit condition here is exceptional they put a lot of effort into it uh, you know you go around the track on Thursday afternoon and it just looks immaculate you know all the curb and, and the runoff and all the areas they, they really take great pride in it so I think the, the grip level is fine it's just uh, the technicalities of it is yeah. very difficult. Mark we've heard a lot about tyres obviously during the season what are they like around here Are you feeling pretty comfortable? Yeah they don't feel too bad actually mate I think uh, they're reasonably conservative um, they've still got a decent peak lap in them obviously at the start and then you need to still manage them after that in, in the race obviously so you see the work today people doing the short runs and then obviously then doing the long runs to understand the car for Sunday afternoon so yeah no real big surprises today on the tyre front to be honest so you know the criticism that's been given to Pirelli what would the drivers like do they just want a safer tyre do they want a more consistent tyre got a harder tyre what, what would be the, the racing driver request to Pirelli uh, I think a tyre that you can lean on for for a longer duration obviously and still have you know we've got some great tools now for the racing in terms of the curves and DRS uh, but yeah, there's still the odd bogey circuit, obviously, which looks like they, they struggle to obviously uh, you know, get a tyre where we can not have to manage the pace very, very heavily. The, the manipulation of pace for us, you know, I, I try and use the analogy where, you know, we're qualified, I suppose, in a way to fly F-18s. So we're not qualified to fly <laughs> for British Airways, you know, so uh, we want to push all the time. Um, and, you know, that's our job. We're at the, at the absolute cutting edge and we want to be pushing all the time, at, but still racing. I understand that. So, uh, yeah. Keeping everyone happy is not easy. I spoke to you and Mark when your car was still smouldering, sadly. You've got a new chassis. I think you, you drove in that one in, in Hungary. Does it feel like a different car? How much extra work has to go into setting up to your liking? Uh, incredible amount of effort from the guys. Obviously, short turnaround. Uh, just all of the plumbing, all the electrical work. The cars are extremely complicated now. Uh, so it was definitely uh, more of a, uh, I suppose, a priority to, to keep the car from last, la the last race if we could. The damage was too high. We had to change it. And uh, today went very well, actually. It was, uh, it was a smooth transition onto the other car. Uh, it's a little bit porky. It's a little bit heavy uh, <laughs> than we would like. Uh, but uh, yeah, not much. But it's just, again, it's all the details. So we're, we're in a pretty good shape to uh, start quality tomorrow. And Gary, you'll have seen that from the other side, from the team's perspective. How difficult when you're in Asia is it to get a car out from Milton Keynes? Well, it's pretty tough. I mean, the, the teams will all bring basically a car all in parts here at least so you're bringing out the spares from Milton Keynes but you know for the team to build it up it just shows how organized Red Bull are to build a car up go out there not have one second of problem with it it's a fantastic feat both for the was, yourselves yeah. and the team yeah I think also I think there was a lot of equipment on the left hand side of the car which was carryover but the right hand side of the car there wasn't much so yeah it was it was uh, in terms of all the all the lifing on the parts understanding what they could put on and what they couldn't uh, like you say that's when the top teams really uh, show their strength it is such a classic circuit, Mark. How much would it mean for you to get a victory in your last Japanese Grand Prix? Oh, it'd be awesome. Absolutely special. Uh, today went well. Uh, Seb's not hanging around as usual. <laughs> uh, so that's a bit of a... It's going to be a challenge. But, um, yeah, I think that we can put together a very, very uh, good quality tomorrow. And then also the race pace is not going too bad at the moment. We've still got to do a bit of work on that. Uh, and where do you look to yeah. find that? Uh, well, it's mainly just, it's always a compromise, Lee, understanding what we can, where we want to put the performance in what part of the lap, really, and uh, understanding how much we want to 
take out of the car in the first part of the stint to have the balance right at the end of the stint and not getting to the end of the stint with two being there, getting there too conservative. So it's just moving the compromises around really and understanding uh, what we would do in that, in that fashion.